Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. In a previous video, we learned how to create AI agents and build an automation to help us create SEO optimized articles from a specific title. If you're interested in that, I will leave the link to that video in the description. Today, I am showcasing another example of how to use Taskate AI agents to automate a workflow and enhance your productivity. I'll be going over an automation I built earlier this week to help me in the process of writing the scripts for this type of YouTube videos. I hope that as I walk through this process, you are able to pick out a few things that you can use with your own AI agents and automations. So let's get started. So let's start from the beginning. Most of the time, when I get an idea for a new video, I am not in front of my computer. I'm either watching a video on my phone, on Reddit, or just out and about when the idea strikes me. For this reason, I like to have this quick add widget on my phone so that I can quickly add an idea into Taskade. So let's say I'm out and about and an idea for a video strikes me. So I'll click the quick add widget and I'll type in the idea. Let's say I want to do Taskade AI automations and workflows. Right? Very generic, not many details as of now. I do have the Workspace Progress Presso created. I have a folder specifically for any projects related to my YouTube channel. And I have created a project called YouTube Ideas, which I'll be adding any idea that I want, uh, I want to possibly make a video on to that specific project. So I'll go to YouTube uh, folder. And here you'll see that pinned, I have two projects, Pipeline and YouTube Ideas. YouTube Ideas is kind of like the inbox that I created in order for me to store any idea that I have on a video that may or may not uh, come to fruition, meaning I may or may not do a video on that specific idea. So after I add an idea here in the YouTube Ideas project, I give it some thought, maybe I research a, a little bit on my phone. And once I'm ready to determine whether or not I want to make a video on that specific topic, I'll go ahead and assign that idea into or to myself. As you can see, I have here two ideas already assigned to Progress Presso. And what that does and the automation that I have created today is that will automatically add that idea into the pipeline project that you see here on the screen. And that will trigger two automations or two agents. The first would be the YouTube researcher, which would research that specific topic that I came up with and provide a summary around 1500 to 2000 words. And then that summary will be sent to my YouTube script writer agent, which based on that summary and other guidelines that I have provided to that agent will create a YouTube script for me. So if I go back here, you can see here that I have two other projects which have already gone through this automation. And the final output is a YouTube script already divided into different sections with functionalities for each of the tools, etc. Obviously, this will not be my final product. But what I like is that if I do decide to make a video on a specific topic, even before I sit down in front of my computer to start researching, you know, and structuring the video better, I already have an outline that I can follow or that I can modify if need to. And I already have kind of summary or bullet points of specific things that I want to talk about on the video, which is great. This speeds up my research um, quite a bit. So now let me jump over to my computer and I'll show you how I built this specific workflow and automation. Okay, so now that we are in the desktop version of Taskade, let's go, let's go ahead and go to the YouTube folder. And here I have the projects that, that I've already discussed. The YouTube ideas project is a project I use kind of as an inbox and I throw any possible idea for a video in here. Now, whether or not that video or that idea will come into fruition, that's, you know, up to decide for me later. But at least uh, this is a place where I'll store any idea uh, that comes to mind. From here, once I'm ready to move forward with a specific topic, as I mentioned, I will assign this to myself and that will trigger my automation that involves two agents. So let's look at the agents to see exactly what I'm working with. So the first agent that I created, it's this YouTube researcher. 
and I'm going to click here on the three dots and I'm going to go to edit agent. And what I recommend really, and this made it a lot more simple for me to understand AI agents is start from scratch. Don't start from one of the templates that uh, Taskade provides, or if you do go ahead and delete the instructions that come with that and the commands. So I know the agents or the templates that Taskade provides come with a bunch of commands, but go ahead and delete those and start from scratch so that you can really build an AI agent that's targeted or specific to your workflow or to the task that you need that AI agent to accomplish. Um, so here I, start, I started from scratch. I named it YouTube Researcher. I gave it an avatar of a magnifying glass to signify that it's gonna look for information. And then I have this space where I provided really detailed instructions as to my expectations for this AI agent. So because the ideas that I'm putting in the inbox project are really just you know, a few words, maybe five or six words, this YouTube researcher really needs to understand what I'm trying to um, accomplish and research and, or provide an output of the research that's related to the things that I talk about in this channel, right? So for example, for the instructions for this YouTube researcher, I wrote, your primary mission is to conduct thorough research on a specific digital productivity tool and present your findings in a comprehensive research summary. The report should be detailed, well-structured, and should contain at least 1,500 words, et cetera, et cetera. So not, not only did I, I provide examples um, of the digital productivity tools that I tend to talk about in my channel, but I also gave it a structure or specific detailed instructions as to what I'm looking for um, as far as research from this specific AI agent. And don't worry, I did not come up with these instructions myself. Really, what you can do is go ahead and open another tab. Click here on your logo or your icon. Open up the Taskade AI chat, just regular chat, and tell the AI agent what you're looking for. Or not the AI agent, but the AI chat, what you're looking for. So here I typed something like, help me write instructions for the creation of an AI agent. I need the AI agent to research certain topics related to productivity and task management, etc., etc., etc. So you know, I click enter and I'm basically, I'm basically having Taskade's AI provide the instructions that I'm going to use in the Taskade AI agent, right? So this is already helping me, as you can see, structure instructions that are very detailed um, for that agent. And at the end, once this is done, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. I can just click, simply click copy, paste this into this instructions box, and then go ahead and edit the stuff out that I don't need. Right? So that's my first kind of recommendation or first tip when it comes to agent. Um, well, actually the second, the first is start from scratch, delete all the commands that are available and all the instructions. Second is use the AI chat to come up with specific instructions for your AI agent to use. Other than that, once I have those pasted in here, I'll go to tools. I always have web uh, search enabled as I do need this AI agent to, you know, search the web specifically for the topics that um, I discuss. Something that I utilize also quite a bit is this knowledge tab. As you can see, uh, I tend to talk about, you know, digital software, whether it's Taskade, Canva, uh, Superlease, you know, Arc Browser, etc. So I started adding videos and articles that uh, discuss the features of those uh, software and I link this or I provide the AI agent with that knowledge, right? So if it's an article, you can click here on add link, paste it there and click on add to knowledge and the AI will be trained with that information. If it's a YouTube video, then same thing, put the YouTube link there and the AI agent will take the transcript of that video and be trained with that information. As you can see here, I did give my uh, AI agent quite a bit of background knowledge. And finally, I come to uh, the commands. Again, delete the ones that you don't need and just leave it with one. I provided very detailed instructions, uh, as you saw earlier in the instructions text box. So I tend to keep my commands very short. So here it is just provide a comprehensive, informative, and readable research summary that is at least 15,000, or sorry, 1,500 words, right? Well, I'll update that. Oh, yes. And make sure you enable web search and the use knowledge so that it is able to use 
the knowledge that you provided before. So as a recap, start from scratch, use the chat or the AI um, chat to come up with really detailed instructions for your uh, AI agent. Make sure you have web search enabled. Do provide some knowledge uh, specifically into what you want the AI agent to research or to do. And then make sure you only have one command to make it a lot easier to um, understand and uh, manage specifically for this AI agent. Okay, so that is one AI agent. Next, let's take a look at this YouTube script writer agent. I'm gonna click on edit agent. And this is gonna be very similar, at least the structure as to what I did for the uh, researcher, right? So I created an avatar, gave it a name. I used the AI chat. I gave it a few instructions and it helped me provide very detailed instructions and even a structure as to how I expect the uh, script to come out at the end. So I pasted those instructions in here and I edited, edited them as I need to. Uh, tools, again, I always make sure web search is enabled. Knowledge, I did provide a few YouTube videos um, as knowledge as to how to write scripts for YouTube videos. So I looked at a few videos, uh, made sure I was happy with the content that they provided. And then I linked those to this AI agent to make sure that it's trained in that knowledge. And same thing with the commands. I tend to keep it very simple. So I only have one command. In this case, it's write a YouTube video script. And it just says, uh, ensure you follow the guidelines and structure uh, the script in an easy to read format format right so that's all good i'm gonna go ahead and cancel and that should tell you basically how to create these two ai agents so those are the two ai agents next let's take a look at the automation that i built let me go inside of it and here we can see that i'm starting or the trigger for this automation is when a task is a assigned so again, if I go back to my YouTube folder, remember that here I have a YouTube ideas a project, which is kind of my inbox where, you know, I, an idea here may or may not um, become a video. And the way I trigger the automation is when I'm ready to create a video for a specific idea, I go ahead and assign uh, that specific task to myself, right? So that's what triggers the automation when a task in the YouTube ideas project is assigned. So after that happens, then the automation continues. The first step or the first action is that that specific idea or task is added to the pipeline project. Here, let me go back to my YouTube folder. I see here that I have a pipeline uh, project and these are the videos that I am currently working on. So once that uh, task is added to the pipeline project, then we'll run the two agents, basically. The first would be the YouTube researcher. So the action is to run an agent command. Again, if you recall, we kept it very simple with only one command per agent. So report findings, this is a YouTube researcher. And the input for this agent command is going to be the task content from this previous action. Right. So if we have, let's say, you know, canvas, Canva top features or Canva best tips and tricks uh, idea that gets added to the pipeline project. And then that is sent as an input for the YouTube researcher to research and report its findings. Once I have that action, then I move on to the YouTube script writer. You know, it's another run agent command action. Again, kept it very simple. The YouTube script writer only has one command, which is to write a YouTube video script. And the input this time is not going to be the task, but it's going to be the agent command result from meaning the research that the first agent completed. Right? So if I look here at the inputs, I have the inputs coming from task assigned from this action. I could I also have inputs coming from the add task, but I'm not interested in those, right? I need the output of this research, right? So I come in here and run agent command and I want the agent command result. So the result from this research is going to be the input for the YouTube 
a script writer to start its writing. Once it does that, then the last step in the automation is to create a project with that uh, video script output, right? And again, the content of that project is going to be the command, the agent command result, but now of the YouTube script writer. And the title is just the task um, content, right? So let's see this in action. Let me go here for YouTube ideas. Um, let's see. So task gate AI automations and workflows. Let's say I want to make a video on this, right? So in order to trigger my automation, I'm going to come in here, click on assign. I only have one user in my account, so I'm going to assign it to myself. That has been assigned and that should have triggered the automation. So let's go here to automations, YouTube script runs. I see here that it just ran now. It's 40% completed, right? So it's still going. If I look here in the YouTube folder, little pipeline, I see that it's already added to the pipeline project. So that part of the workflow is completed, but obviously the research and the script writing takes some more time. So go back to the other tab. I wish there was a refresh button. I don't like that there's no refresh button here. So I, I tend to just keep opening tabs. Um, I want I want to take a look at something uh, refreshed. Back to YouTube automations runs still at 40%. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when it's done. So there it is. The automation is not 100% complete. It probably took around three to four minutes. And if I go to projects, I should see here that a new project has been created with the title um, as the previous task or the, the task that's in the pipeline project. And the content of it should be a YouTube script that is not a finished product, but it, it will be a good base for me to start doing my research, as you can see here. So this is great for me. Even before I get in front of my computer, if I am triggering these automations from my phone, I can have, you know, part of the research or at least the base research on a specific topic be done and ready for me to review before I get in front of my computer. So there you have it. This was another video on how to use the Taskate AI agents to build an automation. In this case, it was an automation to create uh, scripts for YouTube videos. So if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content uh, like this one. If not, then <laughs> just ignore it. No issues. Uh, but yeah, please let me know if you have any questions or, you know, how you're using AI agents or automations in Taskade. Do let me know. Uh, I always love hearing, um, you know, any improvements that I can add to my own workflows from other people or just start the discussion. Um, so yeah, leave that in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.